Hi, I'm Mark, and welcome to this video on cooking and smelting. Now, this is probably the most basic video I've ever done. So if you came here for something a little more advanced, you're in the wrong place. This video is designed for somebody who's just starting out or has maybe put a few hours into the game. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is make a furnace. The furnace is the thing you use for cooking and smelting. So we're going to do it on the crafting table in this pattern. And that gives us a furnace. Now you take your furnace and you put it somewhere. That simple. Now, of course, you're going to need some fuel for your furnace and you're going to need something to cook or smelt. And by the way, cooking and smelting, they're kind of interchangeable terms. You'll hear people talking about cooking iron ore or cooking gold or something like that. Uh, but you can use either one, smelting or cooking. So anyhow, on the top, we put whatever we're cooking or smelting. On the bottom, we put our fuel. In this case, it's coal. And if you notice, the flames come up and the arrow starts to move across. As soon as that arrow is done, you're going to see cooked steak. And you're going to see it continue to do this. Now, it's going to continue to do this until it runs out of raw beef or it runs out of coal. And it doesn't matter which is higher or lower. Whichever is the lower will run out first. So let's move on. As far as fuels go, you got a lot of different choices. You can use just raw wood, cut a tree and suddenly it's fuel. You can use planks and any cut wood like that. You can use stuff like fences or armor stands or anything that burns uh, that's wood, you can use as fuel. Now a little more odd ones are charcoal. Now the way you make charcoal is to take raw wood, put it on top and put something burnable in the bottom and it'll turn it into charcoal, which is then a fuel. Another one is plain old coal, which you'll remember we used right at the beginning. Now we start to get into the little more strange ones. This is a block of coal. If you take and put uh, coal in your crafting table, you will get blocks of coal. Now blocks of coal burn a lot longer than the coal does. Next up, we've got lava buckets. If you take some lava, you put it in a bucket and you put it in the bottom, it will uh, cook for a long, long time. I don't remember what the exact numbers are, but uh, it is uh, a very long cooker. <laughs> the next one up are blaze rods. Now blaze rods come from a blaze, which is a mob you'll find in the nether in, uh, in nether fortresses. And the blaze rods uh, also burn for a long, long time. Now, you got a bunch of foods to choose from that will actually cook. Uh, a lot of foods don't, but these are the foods that cook. You've got pork chops, which comes from pigs, of course. You got fish, you got salmon, you got steak, you got uh, chicken. What else have we got here? We've got baked potatoes. Now, surprisingly, you can get potatoes uh, from villages right away, and potatoes have a lot of saturation. Now they nerfed those down a little bit just recently so they don't have as many, as many uh, food bars as they did in the past. Uh, but they've got a fair amount so they're a good food to start out with. Next up we have rabbit. And then we've got mutton which comes from sheep. So you can see you've got a variety of things to cook uh, to eat. And hopefully I didn't miss any but it's not a big deal. If you can cook it and you can eat it, there you go. Uh, now, as far as smelting goes, these are the items that you can smelt. Uh, you can smelt gold. Now, if you notice, there's gold ore up here, which is what you'd mine from the ground. And then that turns into a gold ingot. Same thing here with iron. You start with iron ore and you get an iron ingot. Now, we've got sponges. Now, you're going, sponges? Yep, if you uh, are able to take over an ocean monument, you will find sponges. Sponges work really good for sucking up water, but this is more of a late game thing, so it's probably not something you're going to deal with uh, very soon. Next up, we've got cobblestone, turning that into stone. You are going to have tons of cobblestone. Most people have chests full of cobblestone. Uh, wood, again, we can talk about turning it into charcoal. 
and we've got sand that we can turn into glass. Now this is true of the sand you find in the mesas too, which is a colored sand, and that will turn into clear glass as well. We've got uh, clay, which you'll find underwater, and clay is used to, to make brick. Uh, it's a lot of work to get, and uh, the bricks use up a lot of clay in a hurry, but that's how you make it. Then we've got netherrack. You're going to find this in the nether uh, after you make a nether portal, and this can be converted into nether brick. Now, despite the fact that netherrack burns, it can't be used as a fuel. Oh, did that one already. And then, of course, we've got this oddity. This is cactus, and you can turn that into cactus green by cooking it. Now, cactus green is used as a dye uh, for dyeing anything from armor to sheep to all sorts of things. Finally, this little gizmo. Now, what this is, is a very easy cooking and smelting machine. Uh, it's designed to do a lot more cooking and smelting than you could do just by putting in a stack of 64 into a furnace. It really, really expedites the cooking process. For example, let's say we go up here. Let's get something to put in there first. Here's our coal. Now we go up top here and we put in our beef. Now notice how it starts disappearing right away. What it's doing is going down through this hopper into the furnace. So if we look in the furnace, you can see it filling up. Pretty cool, huh? Now on the back side here, we can put our fuel. And you can see that's going down as well. And that's falling into the bottom here. So we've got coal coming in and food coming in on top or whatever we're smelting or cooking. Now imagine these were full. That would go for a really, really long time and you wouldn't have to touch it. It would just keep going and going and going. Um, now the, the hoppers are the things that feed into the furnace, but then there's also one on the bottom that feeds out of the furnace. And what you end up with is your cooked items or your smelted items coming into the bottom chest. So if we watch for a second, we'll see number four come in and there it is. Now it's really simple to make. It's a chest, a hopper, a furnace. Now you have to come in on top and then a chest, a hopper, and the furnace. Now you have to come in from the side or the back. And then the hopper coming out the bottom into that chest. And it's a great little gizmo. I uh, build these all the time to make my life a little bit easier. And I think you're gonna find the same. Now, remember, this is an AFK type of thing, which means away from keyboard. So you wanna park yourself there and just let it cook without having to do anything uh, else because if you get too far away, it's gonna stop cooking. Now, of course, if you're working around your base close by, you can just do that and let it cook. But otherwise, you wanna try to stay close by or just park next to it, go away from your keyboard, and when you come back, a lot of it's gonna be cooked. So that's it. That is the ABCs of cooking and smelting. So if you like this video, please like it. That kind of sounds silly, but like the video. You can leave a comment, or best of all, you can subscribe. If you didn't like this video, meh, keep it to yourself. Thanks for watching.